Hello everyone, and welcome back to Owo's Corner, my own little corner of art. And in today's video, it's going to be a bit more of a relaxed topic, because this is just something that came to my mind. My channel isn't that old, it's about maybe three or four years old when I started consistently making content. I stream on Tuesdays and Fridays, and one of my big, most exciting projects that I work on is my Witches 13 show. I finished a trailer about a month ago, and now I'm working on a mini comic, and I'm also doing a few other mini animation projects and shorts as well. And I like to talk about the world building in my projects the world of Witches 13, how I've taken inspiration from Christianity and the Book of Enoch and other concepts of blending magic and science, of showing a world that isn't the far future, but is tomorrow or is a year or two from now. And it's been very exciting for me to mix those concepts and mix the different elements in making neo-fashion taking from Y2K as well as tech wear and cyberpunk fashion and mixing fantasy in order to give a sense of pseudo-futurism or recent futurism. I like using perception, using themes of hope and potential to drive and make a better, more perfect world. And as I work on this project, continue to world build, continue to script write, oftentimes I look back in the present world. And in many ways, the present world and what we're going through has driven the projects that I'm working on and the overall project that I'm creating. More particularly, the state of the media entertainment industry as well as just how life is going today. Those of you may know, those of you may not know that the writers in Hollywood, as well as the actors are going on strike. They are striking against many different companies in order for better wages, better residuals, and overall better conditions to particularly halt the, I guess, invasion, so to speak, of AI, artificial intelligence create, artificial intelligence replacing, creating art, and replacing writers and animators and actors, in a sense. And those are definitely aspects that, and those are certainly ideals that should be fought for. And then we also have the issues of Inflation as well, prices hiking, housing hiking in prices. The housing market is terrible. People aren't being paid enough. The prices of everyday expenses are skyrocketing. And so I see the issues that we face in this present day and they have sort of inspired the story I've wanted to tell. And in many ways, there isn't really much people have thought to do about these issues. And I, as an artist, am not here to tell people what they should or shouldn't do. I more so want to share some ideas and share some thoughts on the matter to at least maybe try and make things a bit better. Now to talk about the writers and AI issues first, what I do think needs to occur is there just needs to be a decentralization from Hollywood. For the longest time, the mentality and the idea has been to move to California and move to that LA area where Hollywood and Los Angeles is in order to get your big break in the industry. 
a lot of the different internships as well as jobs and careers are found in that Los Angeles, California area. And because decades of industry has been built up, centralized in those areas, it has allowed for companies to acquire properties and focus and concentrate in that one group and in that one area. And because they've all focused there, it's also led to almost a pyramid scheme like effect where you have to be liked, where you have to rely on networks of people, people vouching for you and oftentimes being gate kept from certain roles and in certain industries. And that has led to many of the issues that we face. And I guess the only real thing I can say to that is decentralize. People have fought, people have taken up picket signs and picket lines and have fought and striked and had different talks about companies needing to do this and needing to do that. And honestly, I think it's come to a point where maybe the best and perhaps even the most important thing one can do is to merely go away. Many people move to California, but a lot of the people aren't California natives. You guys can go back to your hometowns, go back to the East Coast, or go back to Central America where you came from. A lot of cities and states nowadays have different initiatives for small businesses. There are grants and low interest loans for small businesses. Many downtown areas are providing retail and office space for businesses. Again, back to the whole network thing, a lot of actors and filmmakers, videographers, writers have networks of associates that they can contact and talk to. Why don't you just get some of your homeboys, get some of the friends that you met and go to like Utah or Idaho or Virginia, find a nice city and set up your own studio there or your own writing office there and make scripts, make original content and stories. Filmmakers can be centralized in nice, beautiful areas like Washington, D.C. or Williamsburg, Virginia or New York or even places like in Raleigh, North Carolina, where I live at, there are a bunch of natural scenic areas that can, that have just beautiful looks to them that would be great for film. Animators can open their own studios in Massachusetts. Cities all across the world would fight and die for a crumb of what Hollywood and Los Angeles has, and you don't even have to have all that baggage. There's not even people that are that negative or that mean or that gatekeepy. Like there, there's a bunch of talent. There's a bunch of local talent in those cities that are stuck doing freelance work or don't even know how to start their own studios and businesses that you could build up a studio from the ground up and have dozens of new and potential workers work for you. And then you just pay a company to license your project or you could even independently post it. That's what Rooster Teeth did. Rooster Teeth has their own website where they would post, I believe it was weekly or maybe monthly original content like Ruby, like Camp Camp, Red vs. Blue, many other projects. Has Been Hotel and Hells Babas are also really big. Those have cult-like followings. People love watching those shows and they'll rewatch them. And they got fan bases. How they fund their projects is through merchandise sales. They sell plushies. They sell stickers, keychains, the whole nine yards. There are hundreds of different ways to push the industry forward. And decentralizing could be that big thing thing that is necessary that can make and spark a change because and I'm gonna be pretty honest I've been rejected plenty of times like back in college I kept getting rejected from my concentration 
but I was still able to graduate. And then once I graduated from college and got my degree, I've applied to thousands of jobs. It's been about a year since I've graduated. I think I've applied to maybe 3,000 jobs, all in the entertainment and media industry. And I keep getting that rejection letter of unfortunately, and they're, they're varying levels. They're associate positions, entry level positions, internships, keep those, in, those rejections are, cons, are constant. And so creating studios, broadening your horizons and setting up shop in new different locations creates more work. It creates more work for people. Once you have your own studio, you can set your own hours. You can set your own structure. You can be salaried. You can be a combination of commission and salary if you so choose to. If that's the real issue of not getting enough money, do a combination of commission and salary where you pay your workers a set salary, but then depending on how well a project does and the profit from those projects, you can then disperse that to your workers. And then you can set up residual agreements with the different platforms and with the different networks that you sign on to for your original projects and say like, hey, per viewers, give us this much money and then you can disperse that with your workers or per ad that gets played, give us this much money and then you disperse it. That's how you make things better. That's for the long haul, for the long term. Set up different agreements with your employees to where if they work on a certain aspect, they get a certain amount of rigid residuals for that. And that allows you to keep the money flow going, keep things progressing to be in your favor. But that's really all I have on the whole writers and actors strike and how Hollywood is progressing thus far. And I guess now I can spend a few minutes to talk about inflation. And I will say when it comes to the topic of inflation, sadly, I hate to say it, but the American dream of owning a house, having 2.5 kids and a pet dog and or pet cat that is gone many people in gen z nowadays have to work three four or even five jobs in order to pay for living expenses okay i know you i know people want to be independent and i know people want to live on their own and that's a big thing that's pushed where after college or after high school you need to have a good job and own your own home but sadly, that that's just a concept that has to be gone and done with. Like we are in trying times and how to go about it, how to survive isn't to be independent, but to work together. And you can move back in with your parents. If you don't want to move back in with your parents, then maybe you can think about finding some siblings or finding some cousins you can get an apartment with or get a house with and you all live together and take care of each other. But now is the time for community. We as human beings have always been communals. We've always built villages, built towns, helped each other. Yes, we do have a few dark spots in our history with, you know, like slavery and other terrible things like that but for the most part we are and at least we try to be communal creatures of you know farmers and carpenters and masons and village librarians and scribes other stuff like that we've all worked together at least in essence so now is definitely the time to work together and in working together you may not be able to do many things you may have to hold off on having children or hold off on, you know, bringing random people to the house. You can't really do that anymore when you do live with somebody, but being communal and living with family can be a godsend. Living with family or living with close friends can be a godsend. And 
with that, with everyone chipping in and working together, it allows you to save more money. It allows you to have more in your reserves. It allows you all to work together and at least try to find some form of equilibrium. It also can be very positive as now you're not alone. Now you have someone who's there for you and with you and you all can work together. It gives you a bit more carrying cash, at least a little bit. And with your and you definitely need to start a savings account. Have pull some money in reserve now that you're living with somebody. Any extra change you may have, you can save it. Or you can go into the stock market and invest in different companies and different products to build your wealth with a dividend and growth stocks. You could also spend that time to start your own business or start diversifying your revenue streams. And in today's day and age, having a social media is definitely necessary. And I will say that because of my YouTube channel, it's definitely helped me reach an audience and reach many different people. I got at least two, three interviews and that's because of my YouTube channel because I've shown people that I can connect and get into contact with people. And I'm well-spoken and well-informed on subject and it shows through my content and through the projects that I make. So definitely start a social media Definitely go into the stock market if you want to. If you don't want to, then just try to savings account. It can be $100 or $300 or like $50 out of every paycheck. As long as you have a savings account to have a reserve of money, that's definitely a good thing that can help you in the long run. And my last point to sort of help everything and this can be tied back to my point about you know opening your own studio or starting your own business is this is definitely spiritual dare i say even religious but have a mission in life and far too long have we seen people just out for themselves people gatekeeping information behind buying a book or buying a self-help guide or withholding items and knowledge for people that decide to do a private subscription. We need to have a mission and goal in life to genuinely make the world a better place. And not everyone's goal or mission is going to be the same. My, personally, my goal, my objective in life is to use my art, animation, and my ability to tell stories in order to show what the world can become. To use different elements to blend and create a potential world to show what we can aspire to to make the world a better place. That is my goal, that is my intention. That's why I love animation and why I love my art so much. Even if I'm not necessarily the best is because it allows me to share hope and share potential with people. At my core, I really just want the world to be a better place. So that's what I strive to do and I strive to work forward and work towards. So, find a mission in life if you're a religious person you can pray if you're not religious then just you know sit down close your eyes and meditate a little while it, it's different for everybody but take a long time reflect on your life see what you're good at see what you've been naturally attuned to and then think okay i have all these skills life has just made it so that i'm a good writer or i'm good with people i'm good with talking to people now what can i do to help make the world a better place and it is through that mission that goal in life that is going to drive you to do more to be better and to make the world a better place the world is so beautiful. 
and the world can be so much better. The trees, the sun, even the rain and snow, all these things are wonderful to look at. Even the more urban areas of the cities and buildings that touch the skyline and lights that dance in the night sky. This world that we live in has so much potential and can be so much better. So let's all work together to try to make something out of it. At least that's my belief. And I may be seen as some crazy person that has no followers and no subscribers and is just spouting onto the wind, but I'll keep doing my part. And I do wish that others can find something to fight for, to see the potential in, and to move forward. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share even. This has been Owo's Corner, my own little corner of art. I'll see you guys in my next video or stream. Bye.